what's up? I'm Caroline from carolinevencil.com and I am here today to answer some of my readers questions with you. So let's get into it. What are your favorite methods for capturing your blogging or product content ideas when you are doing life and not near a computer? And then maybe following through too. I have notebooks all over my house that are not organized, but if I don't write my ideas down, they'll fly away. This is what I use. I keep post-its and a pen like everywhere, everywhere within, wherever I would like sit down in my house, there is a post-it and a pen within arm's reach. Let me try that again. There is a post-it and a pen within arm's reach everywhere where I would normally like sit during the day. I got one of these little things nearby. And if I don't have this, what I'll do is I have a notes app on my phone um, and I keep my notes. I take um, a mental note of what it is that I was thinking, an idea that I had, because a lot of times I'm the same way. If I don't get it down on paper, it's gone. It's gone. I could have had a million dollar idea and it visited my brain and then it just fluttered away. That's literally how it works sometimes. And um, so that's why I started keeping a little thing of post-its and a pen everywhere that I go. You can also keep it on, um, again, notes on your phone. You could keep a Google Doc. Um, I like Google Docs personally. I know that not everybody adores Google Docs the same way that I do, but I really do like Google Docs because it allows me to make a list on my phone. I have Google Docs, again, because it's right there on my phone. Um, I make a list on Google Docs and then I can go over and open it up on my computer the next day or later in the day or whatever it is. Um, because again, we don't want these ideas that are great to leave. And sometimes you'll look back at it and you're like, what was I thinking? Why did I think that me who hates cooking should write a recipe book? That doesn't make any sense. So in order to avoid that kind of thing, like sometimes you have an idea and then you look at it later and you're like, that doesn't make any sense. That does not sound like a good yes. That would be a logistical nightmare. And in those instances, you can throw it out. Is it a bummer to kind of have to do those things? Sometimes, yeah. But again, not you don't have to necessarily act on every single idea that comes through your brain. You just don't. Our brains are incredible things. But at the end of the day, we don't need to take an action on every single idea that we have. We don't need to feel beholden to do that every single day. No. Some ideas are great. Some ideas go into a folder that says product ideas. I have a um, product ideas Google Doc where at the end of the day, if I have a bunch of really good ideas, because sometimes I do, sometimes I'm sitting down and I'm brainlessly watching Dinosaur Train with my three-year-old and I'm like, that's a really great idea. And then I write it down. And next thing I know, I've got an entire outline in front of me on post-it notes. Like I've got 80 different post-it notes of ideas for different modules and lessons and videos and workbooks, all of those things that just kind of came to me because my brain was kind of shut off for a little bit. Sometimes that happens. And then sometimes I'll have to be like, I'm going to be right back, everybody. I got to write this down. And that's what I do. Sometimes I'm out and that's what happens. And if I don't have a place to write it, I'll write it on my hand. My mom yells at me every single time, but <laughs> yes, because she, I call her and she's like, what is on your hand? And she thinks I get a tattoo. Anyway, write it down in your hand if you have to. If you don't have anything in front of you and you're like, I need to get this down or it'll be gone. I am a human canvas. That's how I look at it. Um, but no, I really don't. Wor not like I don't worry about things like great ideas coming and going, but we don't have to constantly feel like we have to be on. That's the big thing that I want to make sure that you guys understand is like, don't feel like you have to be ultra productive all of the time. Like if you're just sitting down, don't feel like, man, this is a great time to just write down something like I should be writing down a product idea right now. No, you're allowed to rest. Your poor brain works hard enough. It needs to rest sometimes. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with giving it a break. But if you are like me and have ADD or ADHD and need something to actually be around you that you can capture these ideas down, I store papers all over my house. Um, but the big thing is 
within like 24 hours, have some kind of a plan with that idea. Either it's an idea of like, I'm going to put it into a Google Doc and address it later for like my product ideas list. Whoops, I activated Google on my phone. Oh no, no, go away. <laughs> it heard me say something and it was too funny. That was kind of creepy. Um, but either I will put it into a doc and I will say like, I'll come back to this later or sometimes I'll just throw them out. And that's the way that it is sometimes. Um, but I don't hold myself like hostage by this pile of post-it notes. Um, whoops. Hang on. Yeah. I just don't hold myself hostage to feeling like I have to constantly be saying something or constantly be remembering something or constantly making new content out of ideas that I'm like, I had this idea. It was really great at the time. Oh, but now I don't know if it's great or not. And then just losing it. You know what I mean? So don't feel like you have to do anything, but if it feels like a yes later on, if you look at it later and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I've done that before. Like if you find something that you wrote down, you're like, this is genius. Who who wrote this? Oh, it was me? Okay. And then you can actually do something with it. But have some kind of a like either I will store this idea now or I will act on it now or I will get rid of it because you don't need the clutter all over the place in your life coming from closet clutterer. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. I hope that you learned a lot. I hope that helped you. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like, and leave your comments. Or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.